Kevin Stefanski um, on ESPN Cleveland this morning. Um, as always, the topic of who's going to call the plays was brought up. The decision on who's calling the plays when it comes time in the fall, uh, I don't feel the need to rush that. Uh, I, f I think what's most important is when it comes, in this case, our offense. Like, I want to empower Ken. I want Ken and the offensive staff to make great strides in this offseason. Right. Uh, you know, what we're doing in the quarterback room, what, what Deuce is doing in the running back room, all those things are what's really, really important. We'll get to the part of the season when it's important who's calling those plays, but I just don't feel like – there's enough uh, not information there uh, yep. to make that decision. I, I totally understand that. And I, and I would prefer it that you would wait to do it rather than just to, to hand it over. Are there pros and cons to both of those, though? I mean, sure. yeah. I yeah. mean, like, if you, would you be more involved if you didn't call the plays on the sideline during a game? I, I guess theoretically, yeah. For me, it's what's our team set up for to have success. That's a question I'll ask myself as we get closer to the season. Uh, I've called plays, you know, my first time doing it, I believe, was at the end of 2018. Uh, I've done it. I know I can do it. But I also know there's people on our, on our side that have done it and can do it well. I have coaches on our offense, just uh, Coach Dorsey. Chad O'Shea has called plays in the NFL. I got Tommy Reese has called plays in, wow. in college football. So we have a bunch of guys that have done uh, that job, and I, I feel confident in those guys. But uh, really what's most important right now is, is I'd call it the construction of our offense, which happens every season. With that, let's welcome in Brad Ward uh, from the Orange and Brown Report as well as the All Eyes on Cleveland podcast. Brad, um, the one thing that doesn't go on every year is all of the new thoughts that are brought in. Yeah, he says construction happens every year, but really not like this, right? Like this is a kind of a reconstruction, um, and uh, it's interesting. You know, he makes some comments in that interview about how people don't realize how collaborative the play calling process is which which i probably think is true um i still get the feeling dave that at the end of all this it'll be stefanski calling plays i just think i mean you hired him for his offensive mind his play calling i think he's very good at sequencing uh he also talks in the interview about you know kind of looking ahead and setting things up for later and I just think he's very has a good feel for that kind of stuff and he's even gotten better since he's been here in Cleveland uh into last year so I hope he doesn't give it up just to give it up I I hope he actually keeps the play calling duties um because I think he's a very good one and um so I, I think the only reason he would give it up Dave would be if it was like I don't have a feel for this spread or the, the offense that we've created as well as Dorsey does, and I think that he could call it better. But I don't think that'll be the end result personally. Yeah, I, again, if, if he decides not to call plays, that's fine. I, I, I'm with you. I have Nobody's ever going to be completely happy with a guy calling plays in the NFL. Every, every play caller always gets second-guessed and, and – Kevin Stefanski knows that better than anybody. But if he decides yeah. to give it up, that's fine. If he decides to keep calling plays, um, that's fine. 